Deepak, this is perhaps uh, the first time somebody from the Congress has actually come out and in the most uh, sternest of words has said that uh, the law is supreme in a country uh, like India and if the courts have decided that the hijab cannot be allowed inside classrooms then that must be respected. Yes, uh, definitely one of the sharpest reactions that has come in from the Congress uh, over the hijab matter, which is, of course going, has been going on in Karnataka for months together now. While, uh, of course, the court came out with its decision, they, they went to the Supreme Court, but of course the High Court's direction still remains. Most of the colleges, uh, the students have been following the High Court directives. We've had in the last uh, you know, 15 to 20 days a few students from Mangalore University, of course, uh, who've been demanding that they should be allowed to wear a hijab because in the, as per the university rules earlier, it was being allowed. Uh, but of course, the university city came out and clarified that this matter was taken up in the syndicate meetings where they have decided that as per the court directions, they will not allow for the hijab to be worn anymore and this was communicated to the students. But the students of course continue to protest despite all sort of uh, uh, assurances and uh, you know even the college has gone ahead and said that they are going to give these students option of moving to another college even if they want to stay in the college they will be given an option of online exams or uh, you know even uh, they can wear the hijab in, into uh, the, the, the gates but only when they have to attend the labs or in the classroom they should not be wearing the hijab. So these are the options that have been given despite this you know they've even threatened the protest. When asked about this, Yuti Khadar, uh, who's of course the uh, deputy uh, leader of the opposition in the Karnataka Assembly, he's gone on to uh, now say that, you know, let them go to uh, Pakistan or Saudi Arabia and then uh, uh, look at the situation there. Then they will understand uh, how things function, uh, how beautifully things are functioning in the country and one has to follow the law of the land here and one cannot behave the way they want to and uh, disobey, uh, you know, or have disregard for the law. So quite an interesting and a sharp statement that's come in uh, from uh, Yuti Khadar. Uh, will really have to see whether the, you know uh, the other Congress uh, uh, leaders in the state as well will toe the same line because up until now, predominantly over the hijab issue, uh, they have not made any sort of serious uh, statements. They have tried to stay away from it for a right. long time, and when they were, they right, stay on with me. Uh, BJP's Malvika Avinash is with us on the phone line. Thank you so much for speaking with us, ma'am. Uh, how do you view this? So far, we've seen uh, the Congress coming out and backing those students who wanted to wear a hijab uh, in classrooms despite the High Court order, but perhaps now. Uh, in the sharpest reactions and a reminder to his own party, UT Kadar now coming out and saying that law is supreme, we must follow it. Well, basically, the attitude of the Congress party or the mindset of the Congress party is such that they'd like to fish in troubled waters. And most often, they only look, look at appeasement as a means to electoral victory. And hence, they held a position against what was prescribed by the government as well as the school authorities. Now suddenly perhaps uh, they have realized that, uh, you know, in a country where uh, the constitution is held as sacrosanct and uh, where uh, many students who have, uh, you know, defied their own religious clerics and gone to school ahead without the hijab and come out with flying colors and therefore now they don't see any opportunity to fish in troubled waters and have come around. I welcome it. I welcome Mr. U.T. Kadar's uh, awakening as well as enlightenment. I am glad he has spoken what he has. And we only stand vindicated right from the beginning, the BJP has been saying, that uh, education shall prevail over any other religious practice which come, comes in its way. Right, Malvika Avinash, thank you so much for speaking with us here on Times Now. Uh, the BJP there, of course, going on to say that, uh, well, uh, it's better late than never. Perhaps now uh, the Congress party has seen the light of day. But is this just one person's uh, view or the Congress party agrees with it? That, of course, remains to be seen for the moment. Deepak, thank you so much for getting us the very latest.